new videos every day. Hey, this is Tammy. Welcome to Training with Tammy. Today we're going to work on your arms. We're going to do both your bicep, which is your front arms, and we're going to work on the tricep as well. Don't forget, you need to have water when you work out with me. You want to have a little bit before, during, and after your workout. You're going to need five pound weights or three pound weights, whichever you have is fine. And once again, like I mentioned in a different video, if you don't have weights and you don't want to spend the money right now to buy them, grab things around the house to use. If you have books, two books that are about approximately the same weight might work. Anything might, so let's get going. For our first arm exercise, we're gonna hit the biceps. And we're gonna do bicep curls. Basically, you wanna hold your weight so that your palms are up. We're gonna go full range of motion from down all the way to up, and we're gonna to count to 10. So here we go, counting to 10, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. For our second arm exercise today, we're still going to target our biceps, which is the front of your arms. We're now going to do hammer curls. They're called hammer curls because you hold the weights as if you're banging a hammer. Why are they different? Because the fact that when you, instead of holding it like this, holding them like this, you work out your forearm as well. So it's just a different muscle group. So we're going to work to 10 and we're going to do one arm at a time. Okay, you ready? Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're going to do hammer curls again, but this time we're going to do both arms together and we're going to count to 10. So once again, you hold your arms as if you're hitting a hammer. That's why they're called hammer curls. And it's working out that bicep. So let's go. You ready? To 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. For our third exercise, we're now going to target the back of your arms, your tricep muscles. The first two we just did were for your bicep, and now we're going to move on to the tricep. We're doing overhead extensions. Basically, you just want to grab one weight, because it's a lot easier that way. You're going to put the weight above your head, and you're going to extend your arms back and up. And we're going to count to 10 to do them. So you're ready? Here we go. We're going to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, and 10. For our last arm exercise, you wanna lay flat on the ground. Make sure that your head and neck stay down the whole entire time. Don't want you to injure yourself. It's a cross chest extension. We're gonna target the tricep muscle, the back part of your arm again. And basically you wanna hold your one arm and lock this arm and you're just bringing down the weight and bringing it up. We're gonna do it to 10. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we're switching over to the other arm, and here we go, we're counting to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so those are the exercises for our arms. And I know that last move was kind of hard. So if 10 was too much for you right now, just do eight or whatever you need to do. I don't want you to get injured or hurt in any way. And make sure you're drinking that water. And place this in your favorites. You can go back and work out with me three times a week. The very next exercise we're gonna do for the six different body parts is gonna be a combo one for both your chest and your back. And not only are there the six videos for all different body parts, there's gonna be bonus ones as well. There's gonna be a butt part two and abs part two. So put your comments down there and tell me which exercises you like or don't like so I know. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. For more great videos like this one, check out the Psyche Truth channel on YouTube.